Amazing. So a funny thing happened in, uh, on the way to this video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm getting punchy from punching all these buttons. What's up, dude? Steve from Boston here. I am at GitCon 2018. I'm here with the wonderful Joss Allen. Hey, hey. Whose <laughs> name I learned because this is our second run because, yes. you know, problems. Problems. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, we are here, and we were just both uh, gushing over this new product from Hughes & Kettner, the Black Spirit 200. Mm -hmm. And um, why don't you tell us a little bit about the amp? Yeah. So, I mean, the main thing to know about it is that this is a 200-watt, all-analog, non-valve amplifier. Yeah, that's the crazy thing. It's not modeling. Yes, exactly. So it is... The one thing that we were talking about in the first attempt was the the um, uh, what you know what is creating that sound? Where is that sound coming yeah, from? The spirit generator. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. uh, included. Incl yeah. Spirit generator now inside. Exactly. <laughs> the tone generator. Yeah. The tone generator. I mean, the thing is, even the people that done the work for the video release, like me and the guys that done the amplifier stuff, yeah, yeah. we don't even know right, because right. we were like, so you're gonna have to tell us, you know. So what? what for instance, a question that me and John were coming up with John Brown were like uh, so how are you getting that clipping stage you know how are you getting that nice organic clipping stage yeah. and it was like oh spirit tone generator and you're like okay yeah I yeah, get yeah, that right, right, but, right. You know, but what's happening exactly. in there they're and like then, the spirit tone generator ex exactly <laughs> and they're just like <laughs> and and it's yeah. all and it's all sealed in this red plastic thing yeah, yeah, yeah. so like you're not case. gonna it's encased yeah. it's entombed yeah so you're not gonna see you're not gonna see any of it well, any of the inner workings whatsoever you're not gonna see any of it right right um, but the awesome thing is is that the main thing is that it, it bloody well sounds good well let's hear it we're yeah. on a clean channel right now we're gonna yes. start with clean it has four channels we're gonna start with the clean and we're gonna work our way to crunch the lead and then ultra and then on the way maybe if we're daring we might hit the boost button you I'm never not know. sure well you never you know, know. So let's start off with this clean channel right cool. here. What's that sound like, guys? Uh, so uh, I'm on the neck pickup of my Kiesel here, and I'm going to play some notes. Sounds wonderful. It's a really, really good I mean, good through my headphones. Sound. I hope yeah. it translates on the video yeah. as to what I'm hearing in these headphones, because, yeah. boy, that sounds amazing. I mean, so the cool thing is if I just hit that effects access and just bring that reverb down, because there's quite a lot of it. Right. The cool thing about it is that you can go from that lovely sort of ethereal, beautiful sort of thick, clean sound. Right, right. But it also takes that, you know... Really lovely spanky. Yeah, sort spanky of sound like as well. either country or funk, you know, any one exactly. of those more staccato genres where yeah. you're ultra clean, but it, 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 you're, we're not ringing notes out. We're really just plucking, getting that, you know, that stab. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. exactly. The one thing that I want to talk about quickly to do with the clean channel, I'm just going to hit this effects access and I'm going to bring the delay level all the way off just in case there was some delay on there. Okay. So we're good. We're okay. Good. So the one thing that I really, really want to talk about is the sagging. What the hell oh, is yeah. that? The, the sag. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you well, do. I, we know what sag is, yeah, just, but what the hell is it doing on that? Exactly. <laughs> Never search sagging on Google. Yes, just before, please, you know. We're going to warn you right <laughs> exactly. up front. Exactly. Um, make sure you put yeah. amp sagging yeah, or amp using sagging, Kenna, sagging. Power amp sagging. Exactly. Exactly. Um, the awesome thing about this thing, it's almost like a confidence booster. Okay. Because if you're having, for instance, I don't know, this, that sort of dry. Which sounds good. Sounds good. Yeah. Sounds lovely. Um, but if you bring the sagging up, I'm halfway now on the sag point, you start to get... Starts to not break up, but it's almost like a compression. Yeah, it sounds t slightly compressed. Exactly. Yeah. But then if you bring the sagging all the oh. way up to full, right. you get... It's right. breaking it's up. It's breaking up a little bit. And that, to me, is awesome. Because I most of the time... Uh, when I play my amp, I'm just like sagging full because, you know, right. when you've got like a 100 watt Marshall JCM 800 or a JMP and you're like, right. and you're just like, 
Right. You can get that sort of vibe off this just because of the sag knob at like a low volume. Right. You know, right. a lot of people can't afford like a, I don't know, like an Oxbox or something like that. Right. So right. just having that and just being like using that sag thing, you get that automatic cracked right. sound. Sure. Which is really cool. Yeah, yeah. No, I think mm. it sounds amazing. Mm. I think, uh, you know, it was smart of them to put that in there because yeah. it just adds more options for the player. Exactly. And, and the biggest complaint about, uh, you know, a solid state amp is that it doesn't react the same mm. as a tube amp. And yeah, I think adding yeah, yeah. the SAG feature it gives it that exactly. ability to act more like a tube amp. Exactly. You know, and you know when you hear Michael Wagner play on the clean channel and he's using that SAG option, it's it's really, really cool. Um, and then when I'm on the high gain option doing the tread thing, it just feels like, just feels right instead of it being like super clinical. Right, right. Let's switch over to the crunch. Let's hear a little bit of that. Ah, there we go. Oh, yeah, it's already boosted. Sounds amazing. It's just awesome. Yeah. It's just awesome. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, then, and that's and for a crunch channel, you know, that's that's got quite a bit of gain to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, the gain right now is sitting... Only a quarter of the way. And yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. The cool thing is, though, you Little can be AC/DC. like... ACDC. Exactly. Yeah. And you know. put the boost on, and you've got your... you got your lead yeah, rock yeah, tube yeah. screamer in front of them. What I love about the boost on the Hughes and Kettner is it's not just a slight volume increase. Mm. They brighten it up just a hair. Yep. It's a little bit of a bright boost, a little bit yep. of a treble boost. Yeah, for and sure. And it makes all the difference for cutting through that mix. So you, you know, you're know, you hitting your lead, you're going to get a little bit more gain, but you're also going to get a tiny bit more and on the high end yep. he help you cut through the mix. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So the, the, the crunch channel is, is awesome. And as well... Back off on your volume. Right. Yeah. So I, you got complete control as well. Yeah, know? yeah, yeah. It sounds amazing. Yeah, yeah. All right. What's uh? Do we Next dare? One? Do we dare move to the? Well, this is my <laughs> channel. This is the the lead channel the lead is my channel. is my my preferred channel uh, right. that I usually work in. Okay. Um. So. Now, for the people at, for the people playing at home, I, I, I want you to realize that we're not miking this amp, mm. okay? We have this plugged out of an XLR out in the back, and we're using a red box out with a cabinet simulator running directly in. I have no effects on this recorder whatsoever. Mm. This is going straight into a blank recorder. Everything you are hearing, if you're hearing delay, if you're hearing reverb, if you're hearing compression, if you're hearing anything... It's coming straight out of that Hughes and mm -hmm. Kettner, and it's going directly into the board on a line signal out of that red box out. Just want to be clear on that, that we're not that we're not miking here. One thing that they need to know as well is that there are eight different cabinet choices within that red box now, okay. built into the amplifier. Right, see, there used to be fewer. I yeah, forget. there's I mean, like four, something yeah, like that. Yeah, or something. Yeah, I can't remember. Yeah, that sounds about right. But there's eight choices on there. So okay. the amount of sag that you have, well, uh, I think, yeah, so... Right, then the it's a matter up. of pairing exactly, a just cabinet with your sound. You're, exactly. Yeah. So you can literally go, okay, so uh, effects process just there, access, sorry. I want to choose my cab type. So I'll just say, okay, I like that one. Right. So hit that. Oh, that sounds and awesome. I'm in, you yeah. know? So it's the same. All right, as let's add a little bit of delay to that. Yeah, so uh, where's my reverb? Let's add a touch of reverb. And then the, the delay. Add the little bit of boost, and then you've got your soaring right. lead type. Right? It's just, oh. right. That's and I love that. The, yeah, right? Yeah. That's the sound that makes you want to play more. Yeah, exactly. Right? Exactly. exactly. Wow. All I right. mean, um, and That's apart a... from that, you go all the way to the ultra, which is just like... <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> which is... Uh, yeah, that we need more than six strings for the ultra. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> but just a, a, a flick to it. Um, yeah. And this is what... 
<laughs> I mean, it's just like... Hello, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Exactly. It's just like, okay, okay. Yeah, There's yeah. a copious amount of drive on that channel. Yeah, 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 but right. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, it's uh, it's the, the eight cabs, the red box, the tone generator, the effects, the four channels, the boost functional and the channels and the boost function. And the choice of amps are all foot switchable right. with the Hughes and Kenner foot switch that you can get for the Grandmeister right. and stuff. It's all universal. Yeah, yeah. Um, and apart from that, I mean, you well, can save settings. It's yeah. It's very so intuitive. It's funny because it, when it first came out, and we'll, we'll wrap up on this. When it first came out, a friend of me was like, well, why? They have the Grandmeister 40. Um, you know, it's an all tube amp. Why would you do this? I said, well, I'll give you a, I'll give you a couple of reasons right now. Um, it sounds pretty much just like the Grandmeister 40 in many ways. You know, it's not like you're losing any tone over that mm. amp, you know. It gives you options with the sag and stuff like that. It's three pounds, yep. okay? Yep. And it's cheaper. It's like four or $500 cheaper. Yep. So it's like a cheaper, lighter, more powerful. It's 200 watts versus 40 watts. It's a cheaper, louder, you know, and uh, lighter mm -hmm. yep. <laughs> Grandmeister 40. Yep. So that might appeal to somebody. I think so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. think so. And, and I just think the amp, you were playing it down there, and it just sounded uh, incredible through it's that Hughes good, and Kettner cab. Good I mean, amp, yeah. just, just amazing stuff. All right, guys, so where can they find you online? Uh, if you just search Guitar Bros Demos on the YouTube channel, and you'll find my YouTube channel, and that's All it, right, really. Guitar Bros Demos. And you know what? I'll leave links in the description about the Hughes and Kettner Black uh, Spirit 200, and check that out, guys. And there you have it. All right, dudes, as always, thank you so much for hanging out, and rock on. <laughs>